Wide as an ocean, deep as a puddle. That is what I would use to describe Season 2 of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero. And that is really sad to say. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero made waves. No pun intended with the actual story structure. It made waves with Season 1. There was so much community discussion. So much to really dive into and talk about. And it was a lot of people's first time ever really watching an anime like S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero. It was... A great time and looking at season two after episode one came out and now today's episode two you cannot deny something is going on under the hood when it comes to shield hero and so I want to talk about that so everything I'm about to say comes from an anime only so I am NOT a light novel reader I'm not a manga reader the only thing I have heard about stuff that's affiliated with manga and light novel is through word of mouth I am pretty much entirely an anime only, so I have no idea what to expect, no idea what's going to happen, don't know exactly everything that's going on and all that, but uh, I just want to clarify before I go any further. Shield Hero Season 2 is kind of bad, and as I said, it's sad to say that, because it feels rushed. It feels incredibly rushed and I want to give points and explain I'm not just saying those words and not gonna give reasons to why I'm saying that don't worry I'm gonna clarify why I feel it's getting rushed so episode 2 is a perfect way to really just talk about it, it really gave me that impression that it was getting very rushed episode 1 I saw a lot of complaints after I uploaded my review and I talked about the first episode of season 2 a lot of people were talking about how a lot of things felt cut removed like disjointed etc a lot of people were talking about that and then episode 2 came around before I saw anything or anyone talking about it as clear as day something was missing with episode 2 so let's dive into the details it felt like this entire episode episode two to be exact of season two was jumping around from point a to point b to point c to point d or skipping the entirety of the middle alphabet and skipping from a to z that's exactly what this episode was because there was multiple montages throughout the episode kind of showcasing a lot of time has passed and there was a sporadic amount of time passing throughout this episode like seriously sit down and think about it for a second there was days upon maybe weeks that have passed within just this episode alone and i felt like there was so much content that was there but just completely axed from it to get to the action part of this arc now i don't know necessarily how this arc was structured in like the light novel or the manga but i know for a fact when it comes to adaptations things got to be cut that this just, that's how it is that is the reality of anime adaptations but sometimes things are cut for the better of the series and sometimes cuts can be bad and in this case i feel like there is a lot cut throughout this episode because like there's so many details that feel like should have been there and wasn't like example we start the episode off with the continuation of the battle scene with you know now Fumi and you see this mysterious woman appear she basically disappears instantly after she introduces herself and then we jump cut over to a round table meeting now Fumi's meeting all of, like the main head honchos and then she makes an appearance and all that and she's like oh I'm so and so I'm a familiar of the spirit tortoise and just all all the details, all the dialogue, just the time gap between that, I felt like a lot of time was cut right there, and we didn't get to properly establish the characters in the meeting. And this is one of the biggest showcases that something was missing, because one of the main conflicts of this episode was definitely the eternal struggle with the head honchos, which is very reminiscent of what was going on in Season 1. Remember one of the big things that drew a lot of us to enjoy S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, at least Season 1, at least what I was drawn to, was that Naofumi was casted out he was betrayed by everyone he was the underdog nobody liked him he couldn't trust anyone anymore he lost faith in the world pretty much and he did everything he could to struggle to the very top and that's where the ending of season one kind of went the rising of the shield hero so to speak and we have seen that now Fumi has a hard time of trusting people a hard time of properly communicating with others because of how the world has actually treated him to this very point point. and when you look at this episode there is obviously a lot of eternal 
struggle between the characters. Like, Naofumi is butting heads with the head honchos of these different nations. He's not able to properly communicate with them, and it, it comes off very clear that, you know, he doesn't want to work with them, but he was trying. And it felt like there was so much with the characters cut, like, in terms of their personalities, who they really are, why they're actually here, etc. Yes, the world is in danger, but we've had many times in experiences throughout, you know, Shield Hero already, to where it doesn't matter if there is, like, danger to the world. People People still do some stupid stuff so I'm just like I feel like there was a, like an episode or two episodes worth of content that could have been on diving into these different head honchos at the round table alone now obviously the content might not be for everyone if it was cut because like for instance, you know, that type of discussion, that exposition is not for everyone, but I love that type of stuff. I love world building, I love seeing how the world ticks, and it allows more vibe and immersion to the actual world. For instance, you're able to understand why these characters do the things they do, and that's what made Season 1 enjoyable. So, when I look at this, that alone, it felt cut. It felt very rushed, like we just cut through a huge chunk of time just to get to that table meeting. Then... From what I was told from a manga reader today, apparently Naofumi was supposed to have a confrontation with the bow hero. Yeah, I, I, apparently that was a thing. So, literally in the manga, from what I was told, Naofumi confronts the bow hero. It's like, hey, what you did to, you know, Arisha or whatever, you know, was not right. I and mean, then they have like a little scuffle or whatever. I, I don't know the full details of that, but I was told that was just completely cut, which just pretty much lets us know, yes, they are definitely cutting over content to probably get through this arc as quickly as possible. Now, I don't know the reason why. I don't know if it's because they're trying to get to a certain stopping point or a certain event that's going to happen in the future of this season, but it's still very questionable that they're skipping core content that could add a lot more, I guess, world building and also character development characterization to some of our heroes. So that is also food for thought. Now, let's uh, talk about other scenes. We also have an entire scene where, like, now Fumi, you know, he, after having this little you know, dispute with everybody at the round table, you know, Raftali comes in, tries to talk with him, remind him, you know, hey, you know, you, you, it, it'll all work out, you know, you, we trust him, we can talk with him, etc., and then we jump cut through a montage, and then they're all working together towards the end of the episode, it felt like events were just going from point A to p a point like Z, like I've been saying, and it just felt like there was not a lot of organic establishment with the characters to really understand each other, to even be in that position, and be there with Naofumi, because, once again, in Season 1, there was a lot, a lot of struggle for Naofumi to get people on his side, to fight, to have them actually work with him, and it just felt like everything just set up just to get ready for the battle. That That's it. So, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that, especially with, like, the familiar, the human familiar that was introduced in this episode, and how she, uh, you know... She, the way she's introduced, we don't care about her. Like, I want to be honest, I don't care about the character. I, I don't care about how she was introduced. She might be a very cool character in the manga or light novel, but the way she was introduced, she was just thrown into the episode. She's like, I'm a familiar, I've been lying to all of you, so the twist of her lying to everybody isn't really a shock, because it's like, we don't know you as a character. On top of that, it's just like... Okay, so you're here, you're familiar, you can't really offer information to the spirit tortoise, or about the spirit tortoise, really much information to really help, so you're kind of worthless. And so it's just like, the character feels just shoved there, and there's really not much else. It feels like a character's entire backstory and development just got chopped with an axe, and we just got the overall silhouette of the character being moved by strings throughout the episode. Then, we got the stuff towards the end with the little training montage, getting to see that uh, Philo and Raftali and all of them at the Demi Human Village were training under this night, and, you know, it feels like there should have been a lot more development, a lot more focus on that as well, and that felt very cut and rushed. But then, to make matters even worse, there's a scene where you see like the troops and everybody mobilizing to be there to fight the spirit tortoise, and you see Nafumi, you know, he's there eating, sitting down near a fire, and you see other people trying to line up and get food. It pretty much lets you know that a war is about to happen. A lot of people are probably going to die. There is a lot of lore that this episode tries to throw at you, but 
we don't get much of it. And that's what's crazy. Like, I, I think the entire element of the spirit tortoise appearing to stop the waves and it's like a, a final resort from the heroes to save the world is very fascinating. But obviously, we didn't have enough time to really build up and talk about that. So it just, like I said, everything just feels forced and froze, uh, like thrown into the episode and we don't have enough time to really sit on it, dwell on it, and care about it. Because, like, the entire conflict of episode two felt like it should just alone been about two to three episodes of content. That's what needs to be pointed out. So yeah, just uh, overall, Shield Hero Season 2, I'm sad to say what I've been saying in this video because I really like Shield Hero. I, I, you can go back to my previous reviews of Season 1. You'll see me continuously praise Shield Hero. I love the series. I love the content of the series. Maybe I should read the light novel and the manga to see, but so far as an anime only, it just it feels like season two is a major step down in almost every event because of just the feeling of it. It does not feel like the shield hero that we know. But I guess I'll leave it at that. Tell me your honest thoughts of how you felt about episode two and episode one of Shield Hero. Do you think that this series is being rushed or am I looking too deep? Am I overreacting? You know, honestly, let me know. I would love to be told I'm overreacting. I seriously would. I, I would love to be told I'm wrong and then look at this from a different perspective and analyze it again. I would love to be told that. But from what I've seen, it looks, it looks really rushed. It does. But... We'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know, leave me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that bell icon if you haven't hit that bell icon. And with that, guys, be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.